Hi there, this is Fred from Crossnet Software. I would like to give you a brief introduction about heavy ion radiation simulation. We will create structure like this one. It's a simple MOSFET with polysilicon, silicon dioxide, and source and drain. So heavy ions, like gold ions, will penetrate through polysilicon, silicon dioxide, and silicon bulk. We will first create this simple long channel MOSFET using cross night simu cisuprene. After simulation, we'll get structure like this. With the doping shows the source string and the, and the gate. So, for the heavy iron radiation, we can use a software called Trim. This software can be downloaded from this website. With Trim, we can define the, the heavy irons, for example, the gold, with energy of 1.5 mega EV. We can also define the angle here, but for our case, we just use zero degree. This, this iron can penetrate the three layers. One is polysilicon, and the second is silicon dioxide, and third one is silicon, with the depths listed here. So after this information is defined, we can save input and run trim. For the sake of time, we'll leak this, this part, and basically S3 or trim will do a Monte Carlo simulation uh, with the input information here, and uh, with the number of the ions selected. And uh, the result can be saved as a text file. Uh, this is an example uh, which shows you uh, the analyzation, uh, for example, the target depths and the analyzation by arms and analyzation by recoils. With this, we we can load uh, this txt file, this txt file into our device simulator abscess in these two statements. Basically, these files will be inputted as the linear energy transfer files. And we define two iron strikes with some time delay between, between them. The drain voltage is first scanned to 5 volt with source and gate terminals grounded. And then we scan time as well as the light. And these lights are used to control the radiation generation rate from the first and second ion strikes. We use Gaussian functions. And this scan function will define the parameters for these two, uh, two pulses. And you can, as you can see, the second strike will have a 2 picosecond delay here. And after the iron strikes, we will scan the time again to one nanosecond to make sure that this re this heavy ion radiation uh, gra to gradually goes off, the effect gradually goes off so that the drain current will diminish from the surge. So after this simulation is done, we'll see the result here. The first one is a 3D plot of the optical generation, in which th this side is silicon surface. 
This is for the first strike. And this one is for the second strike. This plot shows the iron the first strike intensity versus time. And this one is the uh, iron strike intensity versus time uh, for the second strike. So you see uh, it starts from um, time equals to 2 picoseconds. This one plots the drain current versus time. So from the first 100 picosecond, we will see a surge of the drain current. And after the strike is over, it will gradually diminish. Yeah, this pretty much finishes my uh, introduction. Thank you very much.